thank you, Bob, and thank all of you for coming. This is a, a tremendous uh, turnout. New Jersey and all the struggles we have with autism, um, and I talked with uh, my colleagues around the country, uh, we have a, a great situation in New Jersey compared to other states. And I think uh, as we talked about what, what to do today, we really wanted to take some time out and, and take a breath and, and recognize that we have come a long way uh, here in New Jersey. And, and it's really been, uh, as, as we've all said, a collaborative effort. But it's really thanks to our governors, our state legislators, public agency leaders, uh, particularly Jen Velez and Don Apgar, and, and as you've, you've heard, have really been partners. We know they have a tough job. They have a lot to do with little resources. And it's important that we all work together to do what we can, realistically, on behalf of the children, adults, and families with autism. Uh, we, have, we have two great uh, advocacy organizations in the state, Autism Speaks and Autism New Jersey, and we find them very helpful to families to really direct families to those organizations and agencies that provide direct services, like Eden. And so they help with, uh, with fundraising, with, uh, with research, and uh, they also help families uh, find the services that they need uh, when they need them. Uh, we also have our colleges and universities in New Jersey, particularly Rutgers, uh, New Jersey Institute of Technology, Thomas Edison State College, the College of New Jersey, and Rowland University, to name a few, who have dedicated resources to educate autism uh, service providers, particularly teachers, first responders, and residential and employment support staff. Of the many high-tech companies in New Jersey, uh, many have focused on de uh, developing apps and other applications to help children and adults with autism learn to communicate. That's the major factor that we deal with in dealing with children with autism. So essentially, we have every right to be proud of what we've done individually and collectively here in New Jersey. I want to mention Eden has, uh, has been around since 1975, and I just want to mention two projects that, that we're uh, especially proud of recently. Last October, we moved into our new education and outreach center in Princeton Forest Hall Village. Uh, this is a model autism education center, and we've had visitors from all over the country and actually all over the world look at this center, and the building is only part of it. The real key to Eden's success in working with children with autism is its, its instructional methods and its curriculum. Which leads to the second uh, thing we're very proud of. We've recently launched ELMS, the uh, Eden Learning Management System. And what we've done is we've taken the Eden assessment, the Eden curriculum, an electronic uh, recording system, and we put it into a learning management system that will help uh, teachers in the classrooms uh, del deliver services for children with autism. Uh, so we, we know we have a lot more to do, but it's extremely important that we continue the collaboration among state leaders, higher education, technology partners, public funding agencies, the governor, and our legislators uh, in order for, to further achieve our mission.